Among the less glamorous chores in covering the White House is the occasional turn as pool reporter. When the president travels, one print reporter tags along on Air Force One. Pool reporters share what they see and hear with White House correspondents not on the trip. On this day, as Bush headed to Atlanta for a close to the press political fundraiser at a private residence, there wasn't much to see or hear. But pool duty is pool duty, so let's climb aboard Air Force One and head south. Flying on Air Force One is night not quite as glamorous as it might sound. Take a look around. This is all we see. It's a huge plane, but we are restricted to the press cabin, which isn't much different than the first class cabin on a commercial flight. The food's pretty good. Here are two of the four basic food groups, fruit and candy. Everybody settles in and we await word that the president, aboard his Marine One helicopter, is en route from the White House to Andrews Air Force Base in nearby Maryland. That was the 10 minute warning which gets us back off the plane to watch the arrival and see the president climb up the steps. Because today's trip includes only the closed door fundraising event, this is one of four times we will see the president today. Twice as he goes up the steps and twice as he comes down. This is an unusual trip in that there are no public events to cover, only the private fundraiser. In correspondent parlance, that means there are no big leagues, the lingo for public events used to cover privates. A cool towel on a hot day and we are off to Atlanta. I'm guessing a few of these have been taken for souvenirs over the years. Today's snack, Hawaiian quesadillas. Who knew they had quesadillas in Hawaii? Do they have luau's in Mexico? Here's a pretty typical arrival scene. Everyone and everything in place long before the president arrives. The limo awaits as Bush greets local officials and folks picked for the honor of being a presidential greeter. We then scurry to the press vans that will be part of the motorcade to the private Atlanta residence where Bush is guest of honor for a fundraiser for congressional candidate Rick Goddard. Here's what the president sees as folks line the motorcade route. The lesson is this, if you want to deliver any kind of message to the president, do it quickly. Many people find that a finger or two does the trick. Because the press is not invited to the event, we're taken to what's known as a pool hold. In residential areas, it's sometimes a neighbor's garage. In this case, it was the home of some friendly folks. And because tests have shown that reporters must eat every two hours, there's a buffet. This is not your tax dollars at work. The press pays to ride on Air Force One and for the food it eats. Back in the van, we join the motorcade. Back in Marietta, our third Bush sighting of the day as the press climbs back into its cabin for the trip back to Maryland. And back at Andrews, the fourth and final presidential sighting as Bush gets back on Marine One for the flight to the White House. File your pool report detailing exactly what you didn't see, and your day is done.